Welcome. We're here again. It's uh, Danelle Fields with Dropping In with Danelle uh, on localmia.com, where local is important and we love our community. I'm here today so excited to be with Tony Rafa, the owner of Rafa's Waterfront Grill in Kingwood and also Amadeo's restaurant in Kingwood. And he's, I mean, he's just a regular fixture here. We, we know him so well. And he has a lovely wife, Leslie, that uh, it works for United Airlines. And he also has two children. Lo well, I guess they're not children anymore. Young adults or adults, uh, Logan and Evan. Logan works at State Farm Insurance and Evan works here with his pop. So he's continuing the tradition. And I just, uh, before I talk to Tony, I just wanted to read something. I thought it, it kind of solidified a little bit about Tony, but Mario Batali, we all know him, says, although the skills of cooking can be learned, finding the happiness and finding the satisfaction and fulfillment in continuously serving someone else something good to eat is what makes a good restaurant. And Tony is a servant, and welcome. So Thank glad you. to have you. Thank and you. I just um, so excited to have you because we have seen you grow. We've kind of grown up with you. Um, I guess that says we're a little older now, but uh, <laughs> I think the listeners really want to know um, how did you get started in this? And was this your initial passion to be a restaurateur or? Um, yes. Okay. I got started in New Bedford, Massachusetts. My family had restaurants there. My grandmother actually was the, the, the chef and the one who passed on the cuisine to her children. So my father and uncles started restaurants back in the late 50s and early 60s. And as I grew up, I worked in the restaurants and learned the skills and learned the business through my family restaurants. And when I came to Texas, I came to Texas cooking on a merchant ship. Really? And I thought I was going to branch away. There was too much competition in my hometown with all my family, so I had to get away. Right. So I was cooking on a merchant ship and first came to Galveston. Mm. And that's how I ended up in Houston and, and um, starting Amadeo's in 1985. Wow. I didn't even know that. So does your family still have the restaurant there? Or? My family still has restaurants in New Bedford and Fall River, Massachusetts, and some of the nearby towns around there. So is the accent that I hear all the time, that is from Yankee, you? Yankee, Yankee. Oh, I just kind of wondered, you know, you're not saying y'all, so I didn't, you know, it's, it's, it's a cute accent. Uh -huh. So could you tell us a little bit about your restaurants? I know you have the two, we all know that, that. and, mm -hmm. and um, what's your vision, what was your vision um, when you started those, what would you like, what did you want to see for each of those restaurants? Well, when we started Amadeo's in 1985, I had a partner and after 10 years, I had met my wife Leslie in that time and, and we were able to um, buy the other partner out as I took on a new partner at that time, my right. wife. Right, your wife. And our vision has always been to have, you know, a, a great restaurant, to, you know, be above average, to make people happy. Um, I like the Mario Batali thing. Uh, and our, our passion is, is serving people and making people happy and, you know, using fresh ingredients and having right. great cuisine. And um, that's how we make our living and that's how we've been doing it for 36 years and that's what we enjoy doing. So, Amadeo's, would you say what, would you just say strictly an Italian restaurant or how would you, what type of restaurant? I would classify it as Italian with local seafood. We do Gulf seafood, we do Italian, we have a few, you know, little eclectic things that have evolved over time, like our Southwest rigatoni. Well, that's the favorite, right? Yeah, that, that's I pretty mean, much the favorite around town. You know, it's, it's, um, I, I know so many people, that's that's what they want. And every single time, I want to try something different, but they want that same dish every single time. So what about um, Rafa's? What? Rafa's uh, was, was a, you know, a product of the Midway companies pursuing us to move Amadeo's here oh. to Kings Harbor. And at the time, you know, the, the lease terms and, and what was happening wasn't really coinciding very well 
So I asked them if we could just do a different restaurant, do a mm -hmm. new concept. Mm -hmm. And so their response was at the time, well, you can do something different as long as you call it Rafa's. And so hmm. we were like, okay, let's do that. And, and that's how the Rafa's brand evolved. The menu evolved from, you know, things that we were doing in Amadeo's as features and people really liking them. Right. And, um, you know, we, we took some of the best things we had been doing there and created a menu for Rafa's with those as the backbone of the menu. So what would you say is your, the favorite thing people order here? We're, we're in Rafa's, by the way, mm -hmm. on the water. <laughs> Some of the favorites are our, our stuffed flounder, our black and red fish, those are very popular. Our steaks are very popular, fillets and ribeyes. Um, we have some pastas, uh, chicken capretto with goat cheese and pine nuts and sun-dried tomatoes. That's a very popular dish. Our shrimp and grits this right shrimp here. shrimp and grits, is, if you is, haven't, is, look how beautiful. Our shrimp and grits is a, is a hot seller. It our, is. Our grilled brie, appetizer, crab cakes, yeah. all of the staples of the menu that, um, that people really come here for and enjoy. Well, I know that um, when people think of you, they think of food and they think of restaurants, but they also, you're associated with special events. So I know that I have come here for special birthday parties, special anniversaries, um, weddings, all kinds of things. So people have you in their heart as a memory for a special occasion. So you've been all around the community as long as I can as long as I've been here and you have helped so much and and people not only think of you as being a restaurant guy but also someone that shows up, steps in and gives his part to help the community. So is there I can I was trying to think of what you haven't helped with but you've helped with so many things. You want to just name a few things that you've done we've in the been, community? We've been involved in lots of different community events and charities and, you know, the things that we've probably been mostly involved with that we've done from year to year is we've, we've done uh, Golfers Against Cancer, right. which is a bunch of, you know, friends that started a, a golfing group um, to raise money for cancer. And that's something that we continue to do every year. Um, we do things with the local colleges and the local high schools. Um, you know, we've done different um, different charities through the years with the the different chambers, the different um, you know organizations. Lots of churches, lots of of things that we we help with. But um, you know, the last few years we've we've been dinged really hard right, with that's, different events. I, I and, was going to go into that. So, so. so we still try to do some, but you know, we can't do them all, but we, we do as many as we can. Well, you, I mean, you've done so much. And, and I really want to make sure in this interview, I, I, because people that hear this may not be from this area, but when Hurricane Harvey hit, and it hit so many people in this area and affected so many people, especially our businesses, it affected you and it affected this restaurant right here. I don't know how many feet, six feet or? About right to that picture right there. Yeah. We were able and to save that. I can remember driving was... by and all the, the appliances were out in the street and all. And, and, and I think what I, I was most pressed about you is, is y'all just forged on. And you, how were you able to muster that inner strength and courage that you showed us so much and you just kept going? I don't. I mean, some of us were kind of down, but you, you weren't, you were just out there, you know, you were even helping other people during Harvey, so. It was, you know, it was, a, it was just a, a, an event that was, you know, unbelievable, took was. everybody by surprise. Was. Um, I remember wading through waist high water to get here after the water was starting to subside. And my wife and I said, all right, we're not going to cry when we walk in there. Right. <laughs> but we did. Yeah. And um, it was, uh, you know, it was just our, our, our focus was on, you know, getting back together. You know, we're not quitters. We don't give up right. on things. So, so our focus was on getting it back together and figuring out how to do that because that was, of course, an issue. Yes. Like, we want to do this, but how do we do it? Right. Um, and then, you know, in the meantime, we were 
doing other things, we were able to get Amadeus back mm -hmm. open like uh, within a week. Right. And um, we just started, you know, figuring out how to get this going. So it was, it was, you know, it was a spectacular um, recovery for all of the community, not just us. Well, and mm -hmm. um, we just wanted to. We, we, our our thought process is like, what do we do? Do we just shut this place down? It's right. a disaster. But our thought process was like, you know, we owe the community better than that. You know, we owe the community that's been supporting us, you know, a chance to come back here, and that is what was well, pretty much our motivation. We to get we were going. so happy to see you mm -hmm. open. And so I, w I just wanted to touch on your amazing wife, Leslie. And I was going to ask, I, I know y'all have been together a long time, and, but I was going to ask where you met. You said what year you met, but where, <laughs> how did y'all meet? Well, we just had our 29th anniversary okay. a couple of days ago. Um, we met in Amadeo's, actually. You did? <laughs> her and her family were customers. Okay. So, so we met there, um, and we've been married 29 years. Wow. And, you know, she's... You know, she's been the best thing for me, and she's, you know, talking about charities and events. You she know, is. she's she was the organizer of feeding all of the San Antonio right. trash pickup uh, during yes, hobby, she was. and um, coordinated a big uh, dinner for 75 guys after they got back from their daily job. Right. And um, you know, she's she's she's. A great woman and good mother she and is. good wife and um, she is. She's, she's got she's, it all together. <laughs> she believes in this restaurant too and right. in our, both of our restaurants and believes in you know that we're here to serve the community and that's what we're that's our purpose. Right. Well, uh, I know that you're around amazing food all day, and you probably sleep it, breathe it, everything. But when you go home and you want to put your feet up, Leslie hand you that glass of wine, what's something that you think I'm going to, I mean, is it like a, tell, tell me maybe fried chicken or a hot <laughs> dog, but I mean, what would, what do you like to eat at home? Or do you kind of keep it fancy? No, we're, we're, we keep it simple. We're, um, you know, we, we have this thing lately where we like to make uh, cacio e pepe, it's a black pepper pasta. Oh. It's, it's mostly spaghetti and we'll make that at home and you know, cook some steaks or some fish or something with it, but yeah. but uh, that's kind of our go-to right now at home. Hmm. Is that, um, I have to ask, is it just have a lot of pepper in a sauce or something? Is that what it's, it is? It's grinding pepper and smoking it in a pan and hmm. adding butter and pasta Wonderful. to it. Wonderful. Anything with butter, you know. It's pretty good. <laughs> Anything. It's, pretty, it's pretty good. So, what does your family like to do for enjoyment? I know you have tra you travel some, mm -hmm. see you on Facebook. And wh where do you like to go, or what do you like to do here? If if you had maybe a day or two off, even maybe not even a week or whatever, what would you like to well, do? Well, locally we like to go to Galveston and mm -hmm. hang out at the Tremont House in downtown. Yeah, but love um, that place. But we we love Puerto Vallarta. Um, of course, I go every summer to Massachusetts to visit my family. Mm -hmm. My dad's 91 years old, Is he? and, and um, I go visit him, and uh, we just, we, we, we've been to Hawaii a few times with our friends there, mm -hmm. and, and um, we like to go, we've been to Europe twice, and we, we go here and there, but. That's wonderful. Um, our favorites are probably Vallarta. That's what I was going to ask, what's your favorite? Probably Vallarta. Vallarta. Yeah. Why is that? Just, we like the mountains, and the terrain, and the, the you know, the vibe. It's fun. Yeah, it's I fun love place. it there too. It's it's nice fishing and they have mm -hmm. that some restaurant on the side of a mountain you have to take a boat to. Yes. It's kind of a neat, I don't know the name of there's, it. There's um, there's a few of them, but I think the one you're talking about is um, called the Ocean the Ocean Club. Okay. So what is your favorite quote or saying? I, I love quotes and sayings or something that, that stirs you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that I have a favorite, but you know, uh, I'm always asking people to be above average, to, you know, to keep, you know, keep their feet to the fire and, you know, bring the quality, you know, to work every day and bring the quality to life, just mm -hmm. not just work. You know, we all have lives outside of work. Right. And um, we all have people that we're, you know, engaged with and mm -hmm. committed to and families and friends and 
trying to 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 keep it, you know, to keep that in your in your heart right. and in your in your personality to to be a good person. Persevere, yeah. Take care of business. There you go. Well, what I love to watch um, the Food Network. Do you watch it? A little bit. Okay. My wife is uh, a big food TV person. Is she? Okay. So usually when I get home, she's watching so food TV. Who's your favorite chef? Um. My favorite chef uh, mm -hmm. would probably be, um, that's a tough one, my favorite there's chef. There's so many, aren't there? <laughs> yeah. Now I, that we have the Food Network, there's so many. Uh -huh. I guess my, if, if I had to name a favorite chef, it would probably be, damn, that's, a, that's a hard one. I think that um, a chef like uh that jacques papin that oh was, yes uh, you know no, original he's, French he's chef wonderful that yes did cookbooks and motivated mm -hmm. people and taught people the basics you know that would probably be he was the, someone that that i would think about as an all-time favorite he was on top chef the other day was he yeah <laughs> uh -huh. so what is your favorite dish um just your go-to that you like i mean that you've liked since childhood it could be a peanut butter sandwich i mean probably also buco oh that's right. probably a favorite to prepare and cook, whether it's for guests or friends. Um, like I told you lately, we've been doing this cacio e pepe. Um, and then, you know, just making simple things like lasagna and, right. and um, you know, different things. Cooking on the grill is fun. Uh, we've been making pizzas on a green egg and, and making pizzas at home a little bit oh. too. So. So that's always fun, making fresh, you know, dough and, and well, making a, different kind of pizzas that... Uh, that sounds fun. That are, you know, just enticing and trying something new. Well, um, I appreciate you being here. Are you still thinking about that surprising, that, that thing that you, we don't know about? But I just want to say thank you for mm -hmm. letting me come into your home, which is Rafa's, your restaurant, on the water. I don't know if you, can, you know, but um, it's on the water. It's beautiful you'll see the pictures and um, you're so loved here thank you people love you they thank do you. I mean your name is synonymous with everything I mean you can't um, think of food or think of a place or like we're gonna have something and not think of one of two mm -hmm. and it's funny but both res restaurants have such um, a beautiful emotional quality about him you know I think of um, I, I can think of the events. I had Anita Thomas's birthday party here mm -hmm. at Amadeus. You've allowed us to have stilettos. I can think of so many special events that have happened here and I know everyone else can too. So is there anything that you would like to um, tell us about your restaurant? I know it's, it's open every, they're, they're both open every day or? Um, yes, well, um, okay, you want me to answer that other question now? Yeah, about? you got it? Okay, <laughs> there it goes, okay. So I was thinking, uh, what a lot of people probably don't know about me is I recently become fond of bourbon. Oh, bourbon. Okay. So, so of course. Yeah, I think I'm of a, you as a wine guy. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a member of the court of master sommeliers, so right. uh, I have that certification. But um, recently, I've become fond of bourbon. So, so is there a is there a course you took, or you just no, just. So what's the drink that you drink? My friends uh, introduced me <laughs> to they? good bourbon. In the right. Uh, we have a drink here called the Rye Maro. It's actually made with rye and amaro. Mm -hmm. That's super delicious. So if anybody comes to Rafa's, try the Rye Maro. Okay. Um, and then the hmm. other question that you were I was just saying, was, is there anything that you, you're open, I would assume? I, oh, the what, hours. Every, uh, yeah. Not the hours so much, but are you open every day, I guess, both? At both restaurants, or Amadeus is closed Sunday. Okay. And only opens for dinner on on Saturday. Okay. And then Rafa's is open seven days a week, but only Saturday and Sunday for brunch. Okay. And you have wonderful um, Easter brunches here too. All yes. kinds of things. Yes, we just yes. had a big uh, big Easter, Mother's right. Day, Father's right. Day. That's all right. Big, big big events for us. So, I appreciate so much y'all tuning in and to this wonderful man I know that um, I just had to I just had to interview him and I want to say a toast to you for all of the years that you've all the beautiful pleasure moments that you've given us we thank you thank you so there we go